In order to be sure that ICOM Remote starts up, if your computer reboots or you restart it and forget to run the ICOM Remote, and you want your radio to be accessible remotely, you can run a program down here called Shell Startup, and you do it from the Start menu. On Windows 10, you'd right-click here and do Run. Here, I can just left-click. And the program we want to run, or the command we want to give it, is start, uh, sorry, shell, get that right, startup. Now, we'll show you this up here, and you can actually drag that to your desktop if you want. But if you remember this, uh, that will be all you need. So we go ahead and we run this program. And up pops the uh, the Windows startup menu. Let me make it small enough so you can see what's going on here. So right now, there is nothing running on my machine. If you want to add ICOM Remote, simply right-click on ICOM Remote and drag it into this startup area. Then let go and you'll get a menu for the next step. The next step is you want to create a shortcut here. So you go ahead and say create a shortcut here. And now every time your computer boots up, you're going to have uh, a new startup menu. Now one of the things that I'm running is advanced system care. Not that this matters, but it says it detects a new startup item has been detected. Uh, this is the new startup item and this is what we want. So I don't want to change that. I'm going to get rid of this. You're now ready to uh, have your system run automatically, ICOM Remote Utility, whenever it boots up. Hope this helps. W6FCC, it's January 20th, 2019.